to Alive. Let's talk about tipping in American culture, right? Is this, I keep reading these articles. I've read a couple of articles just the last few days, and I read some a few months ago about the tipping culture in America. So I want to have the conversation about it, right? Guys, as you come in, let me know what city you're in, What? because I want to know what area of the country you're in, because I want to be able to talk about this from various perspectives, right? Big city, small city. Also, let me know what area of what of the world you're in, what, what country you're in, right? What continent are you on? Because I want to get a feel for the tipping culture in this conversation from more than just an American standpoint, right? I know how we do it in America in terms of tipping. It's it's getting really crazy in terms of tipping, right? Having to feel like you have to tip everybody that you see that comes in contact with you. So I want to have a conversation about it, right? Just a casual conversation about is this sort of uh, tipping culture in America out of control? And let me know what city and state that you're coming from or what country you're in, because I want to have some different perspectives, right? Let's see here. Larry's here. Good to have you, Larry. Uh, Dion is here from Columbus, Ohio. So we got Ohio. We got South Carolina. We have Kimberly from Biloxi, Mississippi. We got somebody from Virginia Beach. Hey, how you doing, uh, LD? We uh, Sims. We got somebody from Denver. Okay, so we got them from. We got them so far from various places throughout the country. Anybody in here outside of America? Because I want to know what you think in terms of the tipping culture. JT Coin Rings, thanks for the super chat. 199. Thank you so much, JT. Hello, Smart Money Bro and Chat. Good to have you here, man. Good to have you. So, what is it about this thing? Let me, let me share this with you guys up front, okay? Near where I live, there's a pizza place, and it's, it's called Mod Pizza. And many of you probably never heard of it. But I go to this pizza place, and it's a place where you can you walk through the line and you watch them make your pizza, right? And they put whatever you decide you want on it, right? You want to have a veggie pizza. You want to have this topping or that topping. And they put all your pizza stuff onto your pizza. It's kind of like a bake your own. Now, you can buy some of the pre-done stuff that they have up there that they'll make right in front of you. But there's no waiters or waitresses. There's no servers. There's nothing like that. It's just a place where you go in there and you walk through the line and tell them what you want and they put it on your pizza. Then they put it in this big old oven that's fire, fire kilned or something. I don't know what you call it. And they make the food right in front of you. Well, and then when it's ready, they just call your name out, uh, so-and-so, and you go pick up, pick it up from the top up there and you get it. But when you go to pay on the little pad where you're supposed to pay, either you use a card. If you don't, if you use cash, you don't worry about it. But if you're using your debit card, whatever you're using, they have a little spot on there for you to put in the tip. And I noticed that in, in this particular business, this little tip uh, pad for paying, it's only had the tip there for the last several years. It wasn't always there. It seemed like recently that kind of came about. But they had this thing, and it goes up to like 20 or 25%. Like, And these people didn't do anything for you. All they did was, okay, they did something for you. They made your food, right? And then they just called your name. It's not like you're sitting out in the lobby or something like that. And so I'm trying to figure out, like, why am I supposed to give you 15 to 20 percent tip when you just do what you're? This is kind of like fast food pizza, is what it is, right? But they're soliciting this tip from me. I mean, you guys tell me, have you experienced like it seems like this? More and more businesses are expecting you to expecting you to tip the people. Like, is it just me or is, am I the only one that has seen that lately? I know I've seen it more and more, but let me know in the comments if you've experienced that. JT is checking in from Baltimore. Good to have you. Uh, Richard, my man, Richard. Uh, somebody gave me a call today, Richard, uh, regarding what we talked about. Good to, good to have you in here, Richard. So I finally, we finally got that worked out, out and, set, and set up, Richard. Dion is here. Dion said, I've been to Mod Pizza. Yeah, there's a Mod, there's Mod Pizza here in the Midwest. I don't know if Mod Pizza is all over the country or not, but... When I go to Mod Pizza, I'm, I just want to get to my mod, my, my, my mod. I mean, you're, it's like fast food. It's not like I'm sitting down and you're coming back and forth to my table and bringing me water. And then if you want water at Mod Pizza, they give you a cup and you go over there and get your own water. So I'm trying to figure out, like, what am I leaving a tip for, right? Somebody said, say, hey, we have mods in San Antonio. Somebody said, good. Okay, LD Sims. Sounds like Korean barbecue when I come to cook my own food. The, let's see here. Tip started 18% on those machines near me. Yeah, that's like, 
They don't even give you the 3%, 5% option. They just automatically put you up there like 10, 15% automatically. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Bronx is in the house. O'Brien, good to have you. East St. Louis, East Boogie here, good. Square doesn't process payment until a tip is entered, even 0% to start processing. So, I mean, okay, I put a survey. Let me read the survey. I put a survey on the community tab in YouTube today. I put a survey out there and I asked everybody, I said, uh, in the question I put, let me, let me bring it up real quick. Here it is right here. I said, do you always leave a tip? And right now I got more than 1,400 people that responded to that, that survey question. Now here were the responses you could have put in there. Yes, number one was yes, I always tip based on the quality of service. Or you could have said no, not always, only when I can afford it. Or you could have said yes, I always tip but tipping is getting out of hand. And somebody said, and then you could say, no, I never leave a tip. So the question was, do you always leave a tip? Four, more than 1,400 people responded to that so far. And 48% of them said, yes, I always tip based on the quality of service, right? 37 of them said, 37% said, I tip, but tipping is getting out of hand. So that tells me that 1,400 is not a huge sample, right? But it's a large enough sample to say that I'm not the only one that, that's feeling like tipping is a little bit out of control, right? So let me see here. Anybody in here from a different country? I'm curious about that. This is a great topic. Yes, S dot, it is a topic because it has to deal with our money when we go out to spend our money. Madison, Connecticut here, originally from the Virgin Islands. Good to have you here. Virgin Islands, I'm going to ask you a question since we got somebody that has experience outside of America. But nowadays, guys, we're expected to seem like leave a tip for almost every single service we do. And I think this tip, this tipping culture, it seems to me, maybe you can tell me different, guys, but it seems like since the pandemic happened, it's like it's, it's picked up more in American culture, at least, right? I mean, during and since the pandemic sort of ended in America, it's like we're tipping or we're expected to tip more and more. Right. But look, think about it with inflation and the prices of everything going up, the prices of food when you go out to eat, the prices of food when you have it delivered to your home, whatever you do with food. Right. That's going up. We know inflation was at highs 40. And listen, just a year and a half ago, inflation was at a four year high. I mean, a 40 year high. Inflation hadn't been what it was in 40 years. So not only are we expected to pay more for goods and services, but now we're it, uh, we're kind of guilted into paying more for tips on top of that, right? And I know, and I can tell by these survey results that a lot of people, a lot of people are, are kind of sick and tired of the tipping culture that says, I suppose I'll leave you a tip just because you're breathing. Now, don't get me wrong. Okay, I know tips are good, right? Um, I ran across an article a few days ago and it kind of prompted me to start thinking about it. And then I ran across another article and it's like, what? Yeah, I guess I'm not the only person seeing the, the fact that tipping is going a little bit overboard. Let me say this first of all, okay? My first job, my first job, I was 15 years old. And I was 15 years old at my first job. It's probably 16, but I told him I was, I was 16. I was actually about two or three months shy of being 16. And my very first job, and some people in here, if you're from where I'm from, you know me, you know this. I, it was, I had a chance, a choice between, uh, some of you guys have heard of Hardee's and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Hardee's and Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? So the Hardee's, they had this really, I got hired at both of them. Like I, had, I could choose. They didn't know it though. But Hardee's had these ugly, ugly, ugly brown, brown uniforms, right? Shirt with the big collar and the pants that was, uh, what was that? What's that material? Um, polyester, right? Polyester pants. And it was really ugly, right? That's, this is when you wore pants, hat, and a, a, the shirt, right? And everybody, you know, it wasn't like it is now where you can, you can wear like jeans with holes in it to, to, to jobs now. But back then, you had to wear their uniform. Or then you had Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I think at Kentucky Fried Chicken, I could wear my own pants, but I had to wear their shirt and stuff, right? And I would be a cook there. So, 
Needless to say, it was all about the uniform. So I chose Kentucky Fried Chicken. They were both paying like minimum wage. What was minimum wage back then? Three twenty-five an hour back in 1986, right? 80, 86. So I chose Kentucky Fried Chicken, worked there for a few months. Then my second job, I worked at the movie theater, right? And so the movie theater, I worked at the movie theater for about six months. And then my third job at the age of 16, I had turned 16, my third job was be, uh, at a restaurant. I was a waiter, right? So I was, a, well, we didn't call them servers back then. We was waiters and waitresses, right? So I was a waiter and it was at a, a restaurant, Perkins Restaurant, Perkins Family Bakery Restaurant, something like that. So I did that for like three years. I was a waiter. So I say all that to say that, you know, as a waiter for three years in high school, 16, 17, 18 years old, I totally understand the tipping culture, right? I understand that people, you know, I learned a ton when I was a waiter too. I learned so much about how to, you know, how to help people, how to take care of people, how to anticipate people's needs and what they might want, you know, how to basically look after people pretty much. And when I was a waiter, let me say this, when I was a waiter, my salary was $2 and one cent an hour. And so I pretty much everything I got was off my tips, right? And so tips was huge. And so, you know, you get that, you, let's say, sometimes I would work the graveyard shift. That's when, you know, we were open all night. And sometimes you get done, boom, you had this big wad of money, ones and fives in your pocket. And it's like, wow. Okay, so I totally understand the tipping culture, right? The culture that says, hey, I'm making a living off getting tips from you. So I'm going to give you great service. Hook me up, right? Hook me up. $5, $10, $10 back then was a huge tip, right? But $2, $3, $5, great. So I get it. I get, I understand that people survive and make a living and pay their bills, right? And eat off tips. So I empathize with people who have to take tips to live on, right? I get it. Now, let me say this too, because I think this kind of changes from state to state. And you guys can help me out with this in the, in the chat. From what I understand, there are certain jobs in certain state, states where people are still paid less than regular minimum wage if they have a job that tip that gets tips, right? I mean, maybe there's some states that don't do that. Maybe Connecticut or something. I'm thinking of a map I saw a few weeks ago. There's some states, maybe California, that still pay you the minimum wage, still pay you the full minimum wage and don't reduce your salary, right? And, you know, so it may be different from region to region. Some of the things we're talking about could be different. Let me see what we got here, guys. Let me go back and, and wrap and see what you guys put in the chat here. It's a thing, and oh, tipping is a thing in Kingston, Jamaica. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Appreciate that. Let's see. Somebody says, I always put my tip in my waitress hand because you had on, have it on the pad or at the cash register, they'll split it up with all the waitresses. That's that's true. That's I like to put it in the hand also because I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes you get those people that clean tables, and when you get up, as they're wiping, listen, I had a, I had a good buddy of mine, <laughs> a good buddy of mine. Let me share he used to he used to mess around. We was 16, 17 years old. He'd be cleaning those tables and all of a sudden a dollar will land in his towel, <laughs> right? He's like, man, there was four dollars on that table. All of a sudden a dollar landed in his towel, right? Back in the day, we were kids, right? But it can happen. So yeah, I understand totally wanting to put it in their hands, right? I'm tip exhausted. Uh, somebody said, I went to a clothing boutique and was expected to tip the lady who helped me at the checkout. Expected to tip somebody at the checkout for clothes? I mean, that's overboard, right? I mean, that's that's tip overload, overload at this point, right? They even expect a time nowadays with a pickup order. A, a tip with a pickup order? Okay, they expect a tip with a pickup order. Like, uh, are you talking about like DoorDash or something like that? I think DoorDash is people get tip. I never do DoorDash. See, DoorDash and Uber Eats is getting stupidly expensive. Prep your own food and save money. Yeah, I say that a lot on this channel. I don't do DoorDash. I've never done DoorDash. Now, I've ordered a pizza before, but never DoorDash. Plainfield, New Jersey is in the house. Good to have you. I'm a good tipper. It's a Canadian thing. Okay. So Canada, but I rarely eat out so I can afford to be generous. So in Canada, there's a tipping culture as well. In Canada, sounds like, okay. It says, I tip for dining service, but not for takeaway. These businesses should be required to pay their staff a little more. Yeah, that's, a, that's an idea, right? Pay the staff. Instead of having a staff making two and three dollars an hour and living off their tips, 
Pay them more. But here's why I think here's one of the reasons I think they don't do that. Because I think the tips, maybe the tips incentivize the worker to give better service. Maybe that's what the, the, the thought process is, right? But I could be wrong. But maybe that's the I know it, okay. I know with commission commission sales, that's the thought process. I also worked for two years as a commission salesperson at a place called Circuit City. Some of you remember Circuit City, right? Just like Best Buy, except, you know, a little bit different. And I think Circuit City went out of business. But I did that for two years part-time on the side while I was a school teacher a long time ago. And so I always, I've always done extra things to make extra money, right? So I did that at Circuit City, and it was full commission. We didn't get a check unless we made the commission, right? So that was tough, but we gave excellent service. I mean, we was killing the service game because we knew that we had to eat in order to get a check or any money. We had to actually make a sale, right? I also worked, I, I did, had a lot of jobs, guys. I also worked at Dillard's. Now at Dillard's, uh, for about a year and a half at Dillard's, I had to, they gave you like $10 or $11 an hour. And this was like 25 years ago. They gave you like $10 or $11 an hour, pretty good salary. But you also made, uh, that was more like a sales commission. No tips, but sales. Actually, you could get tips back then. And I got a few tips, but we weren't soliciting like we are, like there are now. But maybe it's the incentive that gives some uh, the worker, uh, or maybe it's just the business just wanting to be cheap. But I know a re that's, that's a big deal with restaurants. Let's see here. Um, somebody said uh, I wore the same one. Eagle Chick, Eagles Chick, you actually worked at Hardee's too? Let's see. In Canada, all servers get minimum wage, regular minimum wage, not a lower one. Ah, so in Canada... They get the regular, whatever the $8, $12, whatever minimum wage is, plus they get their tips. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. But still, when they have to tip the back of the house, even they didn't get tipped. Okay, that's a cry. Okay. To ensure prompt, to ensure. That's what, it, that's what they think it means, right? Tip to ensure prompt service. I've heard people say that they tip up front to ensure they get prompt service. They just give a tip up front. Now, that's pretty cool. I've never done that, though. Let's see. Why tip people? to do a good job. Aren't they supposed to do a good job, says uh, Zach? Uh, anyway, the restaurant should pay the correct wage and customers should have the, have, shouldn't have the have to tip. Yeah, and I think, I think you know, well, first of all, what happened to the word gratuity, right? You guys remember a long time ago? I don't know, do people still call it gratuity nowadays, right? Sometimes when you would go to a restaurant, gratuity was built in, I think it's still like this in some ways, the tip or gratuity was built into the bill, right? In a lot of places, I think, I, to some places I've been, that still happens, right? So what is, let me ask you this, what is the standard for tipping nowadays? I mean, 10, 15 years ago, 30 years ago, the standard, at least at a restaurant, was always what, 15%? 15% of the bill, if your bill was $100, a $15 tip was standard. If your bill was you know, 50 bucks, then $7.50 was standard. But I, I really believe, and I've seen this on some of those little pads that you put in a tip, I believe that the standard for tipping has kind of even gone up nowadays, right? Another reason why we're kind of tipped out, right? The standard is what? Is it 18% now? Is it 20%? I've seen some of those keypads that go up to 25%. I'm saying 25%? When did the tipping go up? from 15%. I bet you if we talked to somebody that was here in 1960, tipping was probably 10% back then, right? Somebody type that in the chat and let me know what is it right now. Somebody says, just got a minimum. You're sure it's going to press charge. Zach, that won't work. Well, Connecticut's minimums for tip workers remain where they've been since 2017. 638 for wait staff and 823 for bartenders. Okay. I didn't know that. I think that's a state-by-state -state thing. You'll see wages, wage and in-class, blah, blah, blah. Let me see. Does anybody know what the standard is right now for tips? Uh, is it ten? Is it eight? Is it fifteen percent still or no? Gratuity for larger groups are typically twenty percent for the regular tipping. Uh, Jen says it's still fifteen percent, right? <laughs> Somebody said tips is a whole job. Let's see. If you're poor, don't tip. Twenty-five percent is wild. I totally agree with you on that, man. Gratuity is still a thing. Okay, so we still call it gratuity, right? Uh, somebody said, have I received tips as a landlord? No way. But I can tell you this, guys. One of the things I do, anytime I have somebody do work on my properties, um, painting, 
you know, whatever, handyman stuff, whatever, lawn care. I give them a tip. I, I give them a tip. They don't have to ask for it. And typically I don't go overboard with it 30%, right? But I'll give them an extra, you know, they have to do a $200 job for me. I'll give them an extra 10, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, right? I don't mind giving a little bit extra to somebody that does a great job. I think everybody's kind of like that, right? If you're, whether you're, I don't know, Uber Eats, whether you're getting a pizza delivered, whether you're getting good service at a restaurant, I think most people don't mind giving a tip, right? If you did a good job, you provided great service, you treated me well, this is kind of the culture. But I think what's happening now is we're being asked and solicited for tips so much in so many places that we're not used to tips, uh, giving tips uh, for almost little or nothing. Go to a boutique, like you said, and give a tip, right? So in other countries, it looks like some of you guys said some other countries. From what I understand, guys, I think the whole tip culture is almost it's almost exclusively an American and somebody said a can Canadian thing and maybe even a South America, Central America. But when you go to help me out, have you ever traveled to Europe? Have anybody ever traveled or from Europe or from, say, Australia or from, say, uh, one, of a, one of the African nations or from uh, the Middle East or even Asia, Japan and the Hong Kong area, China? Do people tip? over there at, say, restaurants. And I, I don't think they do from what I've learned over the years, guys. You can help me out with that. Let's see. I'm a server. Joy, we got a server in the house. I'm a server. Tips are how I live. I actually do very well as a server. Awesome, Joy. I'm glad you're here. You can offer some, some perspective for us here. Um, uh, Joy, answer the question. this question, Joy. Is the tip culture more of a thing now. And do you have you seen in the last couple of years, two or three years since we've been back from the pandemic, have you seen your tips go up? Do you make more money with tips nowadays than you made four or five years ago? If you know that, let me know. I can tell you one of those educated uh, black people, by the way you talk, respect. Hey, respect to you too. Appreciate you. Have you received tips as a landlord? And I answer that. I do give tips, but I've never received. I wish I received a tip as a landlord, right? Let's see. Literally everywhere I go, there's a tip option when you go to pay. Right, right. It's everywhere, guys. Yes, I went to support a business in the mall. Her soap was $20. Then she asked for a tip. What is that about? That's like over pushy to me, right? Over pushy. How come the bus boys and girls don't get tips? Yeah, they, they should get tips too, right? Don't they work hard? Yep, they do. I'm in the UK and no one tips. Good. We got somebody in the UK. They say in the UK, they say I'm in the UK, in the UK, no one tips. It's understood amongst many people that you should do your job well, regardless of a tip. But if you were to tip someone from a customer standpoint, I'd expect a better service or server. But yeah, so UK, then we got somebody in the UK that says, no, we don't tip over here like that. Okay, great. That's what I thought, guys, that it wasn't a thing really over in Europe. Let's see here. My mom served, somebody said my mom served tables at a diner back in 1980, and it was 5%. See, this is what I'm getting at. 5% in 1980, 15% in 20, 2000. Now we see the on the little pad, 25%. Where's it going to end, right? At what point are uh, we going to be at, in 20 years, are we going to be like 30 and 40% tips? Just too much, right? Hello, hello, I'm from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. I wish wish I would have a chance to work in the U.S. Uh, my country, boom, 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 they want 500 a month. Okay. My local grocery store was asking for tips on their computer. What? <laughs> a grocery store asking for tips? My landscapes. No tipping in Japan. Okay, so nobody's tipping in Japan either. Um, do I think people give tips because they feel obliged to. It's sort of like a guilt thing, right? Sort of like a guilty thing. Imagine being at a party of four people at a restaurant eating and you don't want to give, you're the, you're the one person that don't give a tip, doesn't give a tip, right? People are going to look at you like, what's what's wrong with you? You're stingy, right? That's the tip culture that we live in. And it's like getting completely out of hand, guys, right? Like I say, other parts of the world, they don't, they don't have that pressure, right? I don't know what it is, right? 
You there's places nowadays, guys. The workers are making twenty dollars an hour, and they're still soliciting tips from you, like guilt tripping you, right? Here, here's okay. Here's a few places that I think you should get a tip. Okay, let me just kind of run through these places, guys. Where I think, and you guys can chime in on this. Where do you think you should give a tip? Okay, what about valet parking? First of all, I've never done valet parking. I've never had anybody park my car for me. Not one time in my life, right? Now, if you have, cool, right? You're on another level, right? Yo, who's that? Mr. Biz, five star. Please, guys, smash the like button for me. Absolutely, hit that like button. I always say it, but sometimes I forget it because I get too into what I'm talking about, right? But do me that favor and smash the like button for me, guys. And uh, as you're going along, just hit that like button real quick, the little thumbs up button. Just hit it for me, guys, as we go along and talk about this tipping thing. What's up with it? Why? How do we combat, <laughs> right, this tipping culture? Let's talk about some things that we can either do or let's talk about, let's go back and talk about when you should tip. You guys give me your thought processes. Guys, read the chat. Give me your thought process on when you think you should tip. Somebody says when it's new, what is, let's say, you have been warned. If you have any questions, click here, learn more. Okay, well, we got to get somebody out of the chat. Let's get them out of there. Bap. Let's see here. Boom. So, okay, so valet parking, what do you guys think? Is that a good place to get a tip? Like I said, I don't do valet parking, but maybe if somebody parks my car, spends time to go get my car, go park my car, take my car. Maybe if somebody is even a good personal mechanic, they're a personal mechanic who works on my car and, you know, great. They did a great job. Man, I'm so satisfied. Maybe I'll give them a tip for, for that or even for valet parking, but I've never valet parked. Restaurant servers, yes, they live off tips, like Joy said, who's in here. Somebody said, no, no, no. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Go here. Boom. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, we're kicking folks out, man. Uh, so, yeah, let's see here. So, I would say restaurant servers, yes. Give them a tip. I would always say yes because I've been one and I understand it and I know uh, where they are. Hotel, somebody said hotel valets who carry bags. Yes, I think valet, hotel help who carry bags. I would give them a tip. Or even the, the ladies and men that actually clean the rooms and stuff like that, I might give them a tip as well. I think that's an okay place to give a tip. Somebody said beauticians and barbers. Okay, that's a good one. Beautician, of course, I don't know anything about that. I'm bald head. But beauticians and barbers, yes. I think that's a good place to give a tip. LD said, I tip my barber and my wife tips her hairdresser and nail tech. Okay, so people that provide these personal one-on-one -on -one services that have to sit there in front of you and do your fingernails or do your toes or do a massage, right? Or do your hair, right? Those I think are good places to tip. How about delivery food, like Uber drivers, right? Uber Eats and things like that. Maybe a good place to tip as well. Um, deliver pizza. Okay, I can see delivering pizza. Give them a tip. Because those are people that really live off their tips. They make a living off of them. So when should you not give a tip? First of all, somebody said when you're shopping at a boutique. No. And the person behind the counter. No. If the person never comes from behind the counter and doesn't give you anything special, any special services, they don't necessarily deserve a tip in my mind. They should be making whatever they're making at their job. But there got to be some other ones. How about fast food, right? Look, you go to Chipotle. I like to go to Chipotle, right? How many people like Chipotle, right? I think if you go to Chipotle on their pad, listen, Chipotle, matter of fact, if I'm saying this right, you guys help me out. Chipotle, you can give a tip on the pad. And if I'm not mistaken, can you give a, you can also give a tip in a little jar at Chipotle, right? I think you can. Uh, and that's, a, that's another way they get you too, right? They put the little jar right there. So you can give a tip to the, everybody in the whole place, but they put a little jar right there for you to drop some change in for them to split every night as well. So uh, there's, there's, there's several of these places, guys, that you could, that you probably shouldn't be given a tip to, right? So, okay, let me give you another example. Subway sandwiches. I went to Subway a few months back and at Subway on the pad, 
They got a place for you. I know for a fact Subway does this. If you guys have been to Subway lately, you tell me. Subway gives you a spot to add gratuity, right? And of course, as LD Sims said, don't, don't give a tip if gratuity is already, already chucked into there, right? What else? Any other place? Somebody said barbers in Australia refuse tips. Flat fee. Interesting. Okay. So this is a this is a thing, it sounds like, guys, that is different in different parts of the world. It it comes up. Let's see, Starbucks is so bold. I don't go to those places anymore. Does Starbucks ask you for a tip too? Let's see. If somebody makes your food, uh, watch your watch your watch your language in there, bunny. Let's see here. Haircut, haircut, yeah, okay. No to Subway, they're just standing back there making a sandwich in front of you, right? But it's the same concept with Mod Pizza. At the Mod Pizza, they're just standing back there making your stuff, right? So I say no to those type of places anyway, right? Let's see. Uh, if you're doing a video on YouTube, should you leave a tip if you get good information? They're called Super Chats on YouTube, right? What do you guys think about that? If somebody's giving you good information, do you drop them a tip on YouTube? All <laughs> right. Something to think about. Where is the like? Somebody said there's no like button. Is there a like uh, on the? Let me know, guys, if you can smash the like button or not. Let me look. Let me look at this. Uh, boom, 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 boom. No, I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a. Somebody said, is it a short? I don't think it's showing up as a short. So I think there should be a like button, or is there a like button? I don't know. You guys help me out. I don't have a clue, right? Uh, let's see here. Somebody says, Starbucks asks for a tip. Wow. Okay. Interesting, guys. Um, hmm. Oh, no problem, Bunny. It's cool. Not a big deal. Uh, I need to have, I should have 100 likes on this video, guys. Smash the like button if you can find it. Somebody said, on top, there's a like button. Hit that like button for me. Soon we'll be tipping at the hospital. Now, that's a problem, right? You don't want to tip at the hospital. You shouldn't have to tip. Now, everybody at the hospital should be making plenty of money. Do, you don't have to tip your doctor. Your doctor's making lots of money. You don't really have to tip your nurse. Your nurse is doing pretty good. We should have 100 likes on this video thus far, guys. How about, um, okay, question. Does the constant need, this is a question for you guys. You guys can help me out. Does this constant soliciting for you to give a tip, does it turn you off from that business? That's a, that's a real question. Or from that establishment, right? The fact that every time you go to Subway, Subway wants you to drop a drop a give a tip on their little keypad. Does that turn you off? Does it say, is it enough to say, I'm not shopping at, uh, at, at Subway anymore? I'm not uh, eating at Subway anymore? Or... Is it enough to turn you off? I mean, some businesses may need to know that. Somebody said, I'll tip just because you're a Royals fan. All right, let's see here. Top corner of the phone is where the, the like button is. Uh, let's see here. Three dots at the top. Okay, I never knew that. All right, let's see here. Top right corner, somebody said. I'm skipping a few guys, I'm sorry. Uh, so smash the like button. But what do you think, guys? Does it turn you off from business? Somebody said, yes, yes totally turns me off. You so so I'm, I'm I'm starting to see what we got here. I'm starting to see that I'm not the only person that's getting a little bit frustrated and like feeling like they're trying to guilt us into leaving tips, right? That's good to know. <laughs> Listen, let me just give you a few things that I thought about, right? In terms of how to not get suckered into this tip world. Some of you already said it. You said, "Hey, I'm turned off from the, from the store or the establishment, so I don't go there. I mean, you know, obviously one way is to just say no, right? Remember that campaign years ago, guys? Just say no. You ain't got a tip. Every place you go that asks you for a tip, do not feel guilty doing that. Subway comes up and asks you or Chipotle asks you to tip. You don't have to tip. You tip when you feel comfortable and just don't give in to that pressure, Right? And for me, this is what I do when I tip. I go by the 15% rule. Great service, excellent service, 15%. I don't give 15% just, and sometimes I'll go above 15. Let me just clarify that. I will go above 15%. But I just don't blanketly give the 15% just to give the 15% just because you showed up and you're breathing, right? 
because I was a waiter, I kind of a, a, a server waiter. I kind of know like, OK, this this server has like two tables, but they still haven't pre bust. Right. If you you know what. OK, you know what busing tables is. Right. But you're supposed to most unless they have a different policy at your at your restaurant. You should be pre busing. You see people finish with their food. Let me get that plate out of your way. Yeah, hey, you need some more water. Let me fill that up for you. Hey, you boom, whatever. Right. A good server, a good waiter. Boom. I'm going 15 percent may go higher. But if they're not a good server, I, everybody's not meant to be a good server. There's some servers that work really hard. They're not very good. Point blank. I'm a pretty good tipper, right? I'm a pretty good tipper. But if the service was bad or horrible, you ain't getting 15%, right? And for me, I also only tip at like regular tip places that we're used to tipping, right? The person that helps you with your bag at a, at a really nice hotel, the, um, you know, uh, the restaurants or and things like that. But I'm not tipping at, I'm typically not tipping at Chipotle, right? Or places that typically we're not, they're fast food, right? I, that's just my take on it, guys. Just my take. Can you give a shout out to my buddy? No, I don't know your buddy. I refuse to tip for bad service. I'm with you, Jason. I don't tip for bad service either, right? Anyone making minimal job type gobs minus true restaurant service shouldn't be tipped, somebody said. Somebody else said tipping at the hospital is funny. It is. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. So yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't do that, guys. I don't mess around. I just wanted to come on here, man, because I read these two things. And I said, wait a minute, let's have this conversation. So I put the deal out there for you guys to, to, to look at and on the uh on the uh YouTube community uh, tab for you guys to answer. And 15, almost 15, 14, 1,500 people, I'm not the only one. I see that other people are frustrated by this American tipping culture, right? So that's all. I didn't, I didn't just want to have this conversation with you guys and just rap about it and see if it's just me or other people are feeling it. And why, it, why doesn't this tipping culture happen in other countries? Why aren't they tipping in the UK? Why don't they tip over in Austria? or over in Japan. Is it because in America, is it because in America, in America, people don't make the wages that they should be making? Something to think about, right? I mean, we know that over the past 30 or 40 years, wages really haven't kept up with, um, with wages haven't kept up with inflation, right? I'm not saying inflation has been really horrible. Inflation has been horrible the past, you know, for two or three years, right? But before that, inflation wasn't super horrible, but it's like, were the wages keeping up? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe when you go to Austria or, or uh, Japan, the people are paid and expected to do a good job, like somebody said in the chat. So if they don't do a good job, then let me remove that person from the chat. Boom. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Come on. Come on. Why do you come to a, why does somebody come to a chat? where people are just kind of talking and having a good time and adding their two cents in the chat and just want to, we just got a lot of ignorant people in the world, man. A lot of ignorant people in the world. And I call them out. I don't mind getting rid of you, deleting you from the page, right? Odd, strange people in the world, man. Man, it's some, it's some, it's some people really hurting, <laughs> not just on the internet. Go outside. There's some people really hurting, man. I mean, really hurting, right? I mean, just like, man, mentally unstable all the way around. Got a lot of people like that, unfortunately. Yeah, weird folks out there. I don't say weird. I just say people that are hurting, right? Give them a bit of a doubt. They're just hurting. They got problems. Uh, I just want to come on and have the conversation, guys, and just talk about it because I'm getting sick of, I'm getting sick of being asked for a tip everywhere I go here in America. I'm tired of it, right? And, you know, I, allow me to, from the own goodness of my heart, give a tip instead of forcing me or saying, hey, you got to do this. You got to do that. Hey, here's a, you know, they know that if they throw the pad in front of you with the 10 percent, 10, 20 percent, 25, you're going to choose one. Right. Or you're going to feel the need to choose one. So, hey, that's all. Just want to have the conversation. 
Guys, hit the like button. If you got a comment, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I like to read the comments, guys. So let me know what you think in the comment section below about the tipping culture. Is it getting on your nerve? Express your frustration. Drop a comment below. Appreciate you guys being here. Check out the videos that I have. I dropped a great one today about why do people always try to look richer than they are? Check that video out, guys, and feel free to hit me up. Contact information will be in the description box below. And hey, as I always say, the best person who's going to take care of the old you is the young you. Take good care of yourself and take care of other people. Until the next video, peace.